Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews, UFC 173 Fight Week alongside Jamie Varner. Uh, another another fight for you, man, in this yeah. long storied career you're taking on James Krause this Saturday night. Uh, what does this fight, you know, mean for you at this point in your career? Um, I mean, it it's, has no more significant value than any of my other fights. It's just, uh, it's another fight. It's another fight I have to win. It's an, my first fight in a long time that I've actually had a training camp for. So. Um, you know, I, I'm just I'm just excited to be here. I love fighting in Vegas. I love fighting at the MGM. I'm undefeated at the MGM. So uh, hopefully we can keep that train rolling. Last time you were here, I believe, was the Edson Barbosa. A big upset win that really kind of was a rejuvenating uh, win for you. Uh, that was actually the first time I was here. The last time I was here is when I beat Melvin Gillard, which was another which was another upset as well. So uh, now I, I do well here. I like fighting here. Uh, the Barbosa fight definitely... Um, like was a was definitely a, a feather in my cap uh, and it was a good way to come back into the ufc and i've gotten some great fights since then uh but i'm really focused on james Krause in this fight and just trying to get the win where are your biggest advantages against a guy like james i think where he lacks i exceed and um not to take anything away from james i just feel like i'm a i'm just a better fighter i've been doing this 11 years and he's pretty new to the game um, we're both gym owners, so we, we both feel like we know enough to open a gym, but uh, I have better wrestling. I think I'm stronger, I'm faster, I'm more athletic, but he's obviously rangy and uh, he's real dangerous on the ground, as you saw in the Sam Stout fight. Your hands, your hands, and it especially seems like your wrestling might be somewhere that can help you dictate where this fight goes and help you choose that. Absolutely. Um, you know, the wrestling is, is always a weapon, and uh, I, I like the fact that I get to dictate where the fight takes place. If I want it on the feet, you know, I don't take the guy down, and I defend his takedowns. Or if I want to take him down and I want to get the fight to the ground, I have, I have the ability to. Uh, my double leg is one of the, one of the, probably my strongest attribute uh, next to my right hand. So um, I, I feel real confident wherever this fight takes place at, but um, my wrestling is, uh, is definitely far superior. Preparation for this fight? You know, I finally had a training camp, man. It's been a long time. I, I think out of four or five of my losses that I've had in the UFC, three of them, four of them have come out of, uh, come off short notice fights. The only fight I've won on short notice was the Barbosa fight. And that wasn't really short notice because I was training for another fight. So I actually got an extra couple of weeks of train. Um, but the fact that I had a train camp, I'm, I'm undefeated in the UFC with the train camp. I beat Jason Gilliam, and I also beat uh, Melvin Gillard. Every other fight I've taken on short notice. So I'm feeling pretty good about this one. The weight cut for you, you were just saying you hate it. Yeah. How is it at, at this point? Um, well, I, tomorrow I start pulling the water out. So tomorrow will be a little bit more miserable than today. But it's just uh, I've been dieting for eight weeks now. So it's just it's starting to get a little monotonous i'm just over it ready to uh ready to eat some food ready to fight um very irritable but it's i got a great nutritionist um his name's dr joe Saleh from optimum performance and he's he's amazing like my last weight cut i had to drop 30 pounds in 20 like six days and uh yeah his diet his diet was awesome how is it for you to notice all these changes, these little things, nutritionists and hyperbaric chambers and all these different things that are in the sport nowadays, whereas you used to fight when it was like, well, lace up the gloves and let's go? Uh, it's definitely nice. I wish I would have known, uh, known now what I knew back then or know, known back then what I, knew, what I know now. It's just uh, it's crazy, like all these different ways to train and help prepare and um, get ready for these fights. Uh, I, I would... I would eat a power bar and I thought whatever whatever it weighed is what it was going to put on me. I didn't even think about sodium and different things like that or high fat content, high protein, carbohydrates, how they bind to water. I didn't know about any of that stuff. In the hyperbaric chamber, I didn't I never never even thought about it. I'm like you want to if you want to rest, if you want to um, if you want to heal, you want to recover quickly, you take an ice bath or you rest. You know, you don't I didn't, I didn't know about any of this stuff. So it's definitely neat to see how the science is starting to impact the sport. And uh, anything else you want to say? Anything uh, you want to shout out going into this big fight? You know, I'm just excited and happy to be here, to be honest with you. Um, it's It's been a long, tumultuous journey. It's been it's been terrible. You know, I've had so many ups and downs in, in my career. And, and sorry, it hasn't been terrible, but it's been, it's been great. But... Uh, I'm really looking forward to just being back here in Vegas. I'm looking forward to this fight. Um, I got, uh, I think it's my third out of um, 
three out of four fights left in my contract. So, I mean, I'm probably going to be up for renegotiation soon. I'm just looking forward to uh, a couple more years of fighting in the UFC. What are the remaining goals with those years? Well, I'm not going to take any more short notice fights. And I would like to um, start working my way up towards the top again. I, I think, you know, I had a little momentum off the Barbosa fight. I had three fights in a row with three, uh, with three knockouts first round and then I went then I started I got a little overzealous and uh, started taking short notice fights so no more short notice fights um, no more losses I want to string about three four wins together and then hopefully get a title shot but wish you the best of luck Jamie Varner James Krause check it out hey this is Ariane Celeste this is Uriah Faber UFC lightweight champ Anthony Showtime Pettis this is Dan Henderson you're watching MMA interviews and MMA interviews you're watching MMA interviews TV